So right here next to the famous mosque is a pakora shop. They're doing more. They're also doing samosas to start the breakfast. He just fried up some alu, which would be potato. I think they're really famous for their onion pakora though. They do a variety. We're gonna get in here, let them fry up a few things. It is still early in the morning and talk to them and learn more about this old school shop. So he said they've been sell this shop has been here for 80 years. He clearly has not been here 80 years. <laughs> this shop. Which is crazy because that means this shop is older than Pakistan. And so these shops are connected. You got the one right here. And over here, the same shop doing pakora. This man's frying up some onion ones right now, so we're gonna wait for these to fry up and crispy, and we'll get some potato, onion, pakora, and uh, hopefully some samosa as well. <laughs> you know, they're not gonna have that aroma, but once these onions start sweetening up, you get that beautiful red onion from Pakistan. It's got the subtle sweetness to it. It starts to waft up. Oh, it smells delicious. It's like barely uh, These are students here. They've obviously been coming here a long time. He said you can't find pakore like this anywhere in Pakistan. Okay, so you place the order. It's out here fresh and hot. Look at it, the spice is coating on it. And so pakori typical would have like a chickpea flour coating, but look at that, it's not really sticking that much. Almost looks light, crispy, like a tempura batter. Look at that, the red chili. You can see all the little crunch and whole spices. It's not ground at all, so you're gonna get that texture, a big burst of flavor. And then we got a little chutney to dip. I do believe this is supposed to be a tamarind chutney, but we'll have to try that out. Cause look at that, look at that thickness. Almost kind of looks like a sesame seed paste. I know you need to dip in the chutney. I want to go plain first and just try one. Mm. Wow, potato is so flavorful. I don't know if it's, it's coming from this region of Pakistan, but it's sweet, it's creamy, starchy. That crunch is not overwhelming. I like again that that's thin. The red chili heat comes through, a lot of coriander. That is a thick chutney, look at that. I did not mean to get that much on my little potato. Oh. Number Bro. one, shining wala chutney. That chutney though. Can I, can I finally take a bite? No dude, I'm telling you to take a bite. <laughs> that is thick, damn. That chutney's strong. I mean, look at that. Just the, the slurry of spices this chutney has. Yeah. Damn. Winner, winner, onion pakora dinner. Winner, winner, onion pakora dinner. Man, I do this every time. I dip so heavily into the chutney because I'm not used to it just sticking to this. It's almost like Velcro for your pakora. Oh. Potato's good. Pakora's why I would come back again and again and again and again. <laughs> the onion's clutch the way he balls it and then puts it to fry because you're getting like triple onion. You're getting some that get kind of really burnt and caramelized. You get some that are sweat down. You get some that are almost slightly, not quite raw, but barely cooked. So you get a little triple onion action in there. Again, look at the inside. Looks like we got a little bit of coriander here. I wonder if that was dried coriander stem with the seeds earlier, potato, red chili. Looks so very similar to the actual uh, 
potato pakora they're doing as well. I don't know how you could not dip everything in this chutney. Yeah. Creamy, sweet, starchy potato. The perfect blend of spice on the inside. And me, it's all about that tail, that fin. This part that has the layers that get fried and extra crispy. That's what makes this the pure money bite. Uh, we had the onion and potatoes you saw, but they do have like an egg, something looks like a egg roll. And I think that's about it on the variety. If you want to come here when it's as busy as come in the afternoon about 4 p.m. If you want to come here when they start like we did, I hear about 9.30 a.m. But apparently 4 p.m., all four of these stalls are packed and they are cranking them out. So if you want the lively atmosphere, come then. Now we got to keep moving it on. Funny thing about a butt -the bot is none of the food that's recommended is city center. It's all on the outside as you're traveling. So we're going to head north just a little bit north of uh, Abbottabad on our way to Mansara and stop at a few places to grab some more food. So you take these little mini, little almost like Suzuki trucks with a cover on them. They remind me of the jeepneys in Philippines, but we got off there's a non-shop right here. They have this little sweet you, you you dunk it in chai, I'm pretty sure. I'm not too sure much about it, but we're gonna get a couple pieces and later in the day we'll probably get some chai and try them out. That's good, doesn't it? It looks like it's like it's like kinda like a little I mean it's not quite like a biscuit and gravy you'd get, but I just stopped by this fruit cellar where he's got his store arranged. It's just very, kind of draws you in a little bit. You're attracted to it, but you can see all the different radishes and turnips. I think there's a lot of farms around here in this area growing them. Uh, very rich, vibrant from the, the fruits being very orange and yellow. And you got the deep greens, the purples. Very, very beautiful store. And just like a filming or photography rule 101, if, if you're gonna do something like make it worth their time, buy a little something. We got a few oranges. We're gonna get to try those later as well. I like how you're carrying the oranges, Max. Ingenuity, ingenuity, whatever. You got ingenuity. two scientists. You got two scientist majors here. So there's nothing that really goes directly where we need. We're just gonna keep going on and off and hopping on. We're on the one main road of a butt the bot anyway, so we're headed north. We're just gonna keep going until they get it to us to get off and hop on another one and keep going. Okay, this is as far as this one goes. We get off and we catch another one. Yeah, I so much fun. Okay, I'm gonna sit down. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, So just had to take two. We've taken like five of those little, actually I'm gonna keep calling them jeepneys. I don't know what they call them in Pakistan, but we've already had two people pay for us. So <laughs> shout out to the Pakistan people. We're about five minute walk from the restaurant. Uh, we're just gonna head that way. It's just a straight shot there. So this is the ultimate roadside stop. We got all different types of things going here. What I've heard is most famous here is the Shahi Dal. Which luckily Chris cleared up for us what it is. The Shahi Dal and Dal Fry. I always have known it by Dal Fry. They call it Shahi Dal here. It's the same. It's just a different name. And they, not only that, but they got a tea section. They're making their own, like looks like they're making naan back here or some type of it. Roti or naan. We'll have to get closer and check it out. Shahi Dal. Uh, Seven years. Seven years. Ah, sorry. <laughs> it's really hard in Urdu. There's two words, sat and sat. Very close. Seven years. They've been here seven years. Ah, 
why is it every just like non or barata maker when he pulls it out the tendor he can always like toss it a mile and it always lands in the basket every time and chris pointed out only as he can it's really interesting here because there's people from all over Pakistan here. We got the, this man's from Kashmir, KPK. Uh, I think there's some people from Punjab as well. There's from all over. So the thing I really wanted was that Shahi Dal. So we're here just a little bit before lunchtime. I think they normally serve it from breakfast, but they're getting some lunchtime dishes ready. They got the chicken kima. It's gonna be a minced chicken. And they got the chicken korma going on in here. So he made up that paratha, and then here they got their desi ghee ready to go. Desi is just going to be like a homemade ghee, so they're making it fresh. It's essentially what it's going to be. He's just going to take that, just rub it on the top of the paratha. Oh, and a helping hand with the cumin. I thought I smelled a lot of cumin, but after I look at this closer, it's actually a lot of black pepper. You see fennel. There's going to be something in here. I can't wait to dig in and taste it so he's can actually learn about it. And you can't stop at a Punjab restaurant and not get a lassi. What'd you get, sweet? I got sweet. Try it out. Ooh, nice and thick. Oh, so good. What? We only order one. We may need two. Should we order another one? We should get another one. Break the bread. Oh, thin like a cracker. You can smell the ghee. Can you, oh my can. gosh. It smells like it. Okay, let's go for the jana. Oh, that's pretty nice. Question is, who has to clean their hands? Mine look pretty clean. You got the oil right there. I got there. a little bit. I got enough. nothing. I could go and shake someone's hand and I'd be good. But that's all right, because that's finger looking good, so there ain't gonna be no problem later. That's really good. I love that there's some chickpeas whole and some of it mashed like yeah. when we had it in Peshawar. I love that creamy Man. texture. What is it's so fragrant? Hmm. And then let's go ahead and go for the whole reason we came here, the shahi dal. So what you're gonna do is pretty much take a bunch of ghee, should be like tomatoes and onions and spices, mix in the dal, have water, cook it for a long time. And then you're gonna put a, another ghee layer that has like peppers all in it. Now, of course, that's just a general type. There's gonna be different types all over. Everybody's gonna have their own personal way. I love this oh, paratha. I, mean, I know. It looks like a naan or something, right? But when you eat it, it's not. You see those layers? The paratha layers. It's paratha layers. Right. Let's go. Shahi dal. And they threw in the green chili as well. You can try it. Try it. What is it? Check. Grab it here, Mali. He said, check first and then I'll tell you. Okay. <laughs> That's really good. Yeah. He just dropped something on our plate, so we gotta try it first, figure out what it is. We'll try first, then we'll get back to the doll. Yeah, we'll, we'll talk about <laughs> that doll in a second. It's funny, it looks like what they cook on top of the milk. It looks like clotted cream. Oh. It's cream with like... That's clotted cream, there's just a little bit of sugar sprinkled on top. They boil it and the stuff on top. It's the malai. So it's clotted cream, when you cook milk slowly, Clotted cream rises to the tops in these clots. That's why it's called clotted cream. They call it malai here. They cooled it off, sprinkle a little sugar on it. Man. There's a lot of cumin in there. That's what I smelled earlier. That cumin, when he throws it on there, those green chilies, that freshness. So much spice in the jana, but it's not a heat. It's a mild, like, sits on the back of your tongue heat. But all the spices just fill your mouth with this flavor. We've been pretty good today. Careful, don't get that crease. Green chilies. <clears throat> I'd make you sweat. I got the perfect solution. <laughs> this is what the malai and sugar's for. Cumin, fennel. Black pepper, that's the aroma that's filling my mouth right now. There's a lot of black pepper, a little bit of red chili, that desi ghee, just kind of making it all mix and come together. As it lingers on your mouth and your lips, you got like desi ghee lipstick. I'm gonna trademark that. One person, two Americans, one 
Wow. One Pakistani. One Pakistani. One Pakistani. One Pakistani. Single Pakistani, double American. Chris is done. He's on the dessert. I'm just waiting for another parata. We're going to keep going. Look at it. Almond slivers. Look how thick it is. It's actually really, really cold. So it's got a little bit of a frozenness to it. And it is like got milk in there, but look how the colors kind of change. It's almost like a yellow color. I wonder if that's actually from cooking it down, being a little bit of that caramelization. It smells like there's a lot of cardamom as well. Huh. It's kind of like a, a, a frozen pudding almost. You don't really get much of the rice granules. Very subtle, subtle flavor. Helps cool you down. Pakistani <laughs> style. That brought this hot. That's Pakistani meal 101. You gotta lean back. I feel like we need a chai to kind of just let, help digest all that. They're lucky. That, both of those are fabulous. I could have easily licked my plate and they wouldn't have had to wash it all because it'd been spotless. But I held my back. I held myself back. One show a little bit of resilience let me tell you there people always say once you drink a lessee you want to go to sleep I could sleep right now I'm so tired Chris did the rookie mistake he chugged the sweet lessee and then tried to eat parata with chana and dal that screams night night that was funny we probably ate less than an hour but talk for an hour and a half. I know. That was a good <laughs> so talk. Much fun. Okay. That was, this is really fun. I'm really enjoying this. This is such a different side of Pakistan. Right. And now we keep going. We can probably catch a little local bus again. We're like 14 minutes away from the famous Chapli Kebab from Kala Andhra Abdallah. I don't know. I have to check the name. I don't know the name either. Kalan Kahar or something. It's like the like hardest that. name I've seen in Pakistan I so think far. Kalan Kahar. Kalan Kahar. Let me see.